back at the Great Depression to see the path ahead. Flappers in the late 1920s were the Carries and Samanthas of their day. Bold, sassy, and fond of flaunting fabulous frocks. They stepped out in sequin sheets, pricey handbags tucked under their arms. They sported makeup, smoked cigarettes, and bad limbs. Trading petticoats for scanty panties, they shopped for sequin dancing shoes to replace sensible lace-up boots. But the fashion orgy didn't last. When the stock market plummeted, hemlines dropped with it. Reckless spending was out. Ripped within. The recession is the final blow to sex and the city access. Designers are turning to a more mature aesthetic. Pressures are off for clothes at a wider range of price points. Reports on style.com have named Depression Chic as the number one designer trend for 2009. Faded sack dresses, anyone? Glorious Grecian goddess gowns recall the glory days of Depression era Hollywood. The bold, put together look of the new first lady is most certainly an inspiration. Her athletic look radiates health and encourages us to celebrate a more natural female form. Perhaps a new intellectual chic is on the horizon. A look that takes its cue for the brainy women we're currently blessed to have as role models. Shoes that aren't instruments of torture would be nice too.